of 12. Iron Mike lands the left. Good. Power puncher versus the ultimate power puncher. How's it going to go? Well, when you have more than power, it goes your way. Tyson has speed. He has a good style. He has an ability to be elusive. The other guy only has power. It's going to go Tyson's way. He has too many weapons. Good defensive skill with the block by Walker. And now the right hand lands because of the work done by the jab. Work the body. Walker's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Solid hook upstairs. And now looking to hang on. How about that left hand? Halfway through this round here. Super two punch combo by Walker. Fans have certain expectations when they come to a Mike Tyson fight. They don't mind if it ends in 20 seconds. Do you expect it to be a quick one tonight? Tyson expects it to. And that's more important than what I expect. He's going to go out there and he's going to put his best foot forward to make that happen. Eddie, the Mike Tyson reputation has steamrolled through the early part of his career, and specifically many points to his fight back in 1986 against Jesse Ferguson when he knocked him out in the sixth round. And in the post-fight interview, he simply said, my goal was to break his nose and send it up into his brain. Yeah, he didn't simply say that. It sounds barbaric, animalistic, but he understood that he was sending a message, not to Ferguson, but to other potential opponents that this is the kind of person I am. He wasn't that kind of person, but he wanted people to think he was. Good shot to the head with that right hand. In and out! In and out! Ten seconds to go in this round. <sighs> Keep doing what you're doing! <sighs> Tyson's in complete control here as he takes a rest after a round in which he really dominated the action. Is there anything, Teddy, that you see that he should be thinking about when he gets off the stool here for the next round? Yeah, you know, he should follow up on his lead, on his edge, on his advantage. You know, he, I noticed that he's hurting him in the body. Well, now he's about to double up that hook. One downstairs, one upstairs. Come on! Feeling the impact of that uppercut. Job, well what? off the mark Finish by Mike up. Tyson. Keep moving. Keep moving. The killer's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend, one of them is to block. He did it there well. Must nice be the punch nice of the work. day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Mike Tyson with a big right hand. So he decides to go downstairs early on, and I think he'll be happy with that decision later on. Well, it tells you that he's a well-prepared fighter. His corner came in here with a good game plan. They understood what they had in front of him. A guy that's going to move a little bit. Start going downstairs, taking the air out of the tires, and later on, he'll be in front of you. And now he scores well with a straight right. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go.
Killer's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Come on. So much is talked about on the offensive side of the game for Tyson. But in putting forth that offense, he also has a pretty good defense. Well, defense creates offense. That's exactly right. And he was taught that. He wasn't born with that. That's where the technique, the teaching came in. I'm not saying me. I'm just saying that if he wasn't taught that, he'd be just another big, strong guy. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Final 10 seconds of round number two. You got this one. And this round comes to okay. an end. Okay. It is a round Relax that was down. highly entertaining. How These you guys feeling really put forth quite an effort. Well, they stay both alert, have high okay? Just they stay alert. I need you, to, that never I need you to come forward with your power hand more. All right? Cut them off. Number three is underway. That's a nice left hand from Mike Tyson. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Accurate to the body with that left hook. Then he brings the right hand. The killer's punch is far off the target. Keep moving. Keep moving. They both decide to bring it. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around to worry. Left hook to the body. Then he comes back with the right hand. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. That's a big hook to the head by the killer. Way through this round. Walker's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep right there, Mike Tyson was able to score well with the hook. Accurate jab brings the right hand. First time. Mike Tyson looks shaky right now. Not gonna lie to you, his eyes are glossed over. He doesn't look good after that knockdown. Walker is able to land a nice, clean left hand. Keeps nice. hands up defensively, protecting the head. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Mike Tyson, big, big shot he just scored with. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. Jump on him this round. He's got nothing left. He's got it. Let's take a look at Teddy's scorecard, where you can see that he's only got that one round in the bank so far at the beginning of round number four. But, Teddy, just the psychology of the game, knowing that you've put your man down on the canvas, you really don't care about the scorecard at that point. Well, you know you're the boss, and you can continue to be the boss. And more importantly, 
Your opponent now, he's a little concerned about throwing something. He might get caught, he might get hurt again. Tyson coming out here after being knocked down in the previous round. How important is it for him to be cautious here, to make sure that he does have his legs underneath him? You know, it's a little bit of a double-edged sword there, Joe, because it's the two courses. Big shot. Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. So the knockdown scored against Mike Tyson, but his opponent may want to watch out as Tyson has setting himself back up on his feet. Keep moving, keep moving. Mike Tyson weathered that storm. Now the question to me, does it make Tyson defensive-minded? That's good news if it does for his opponent. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Back and forth they go. Oh, that's got to hurt. That was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitcher, Gray Maddox. His sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick.